we have reached the part of the podcast where we're going to talk some UFC 303. And who better to come on than Wade from Wade's Bets? Wade, how you doing today, my man? Doing great, man. How about you? Doing great. We had a great week for the show last week. We both went two and one, four and two for the show. Can't complain yeah. off of that. We're looking to build absolutely loaded UFC 303 card. And you people have spoken. You've sent me some DMs. You want us to do a prize picks and a DraftKings lineup. So we're going to be adding that on top of giving you the three bets. My hot take going in this main event between Yuri. And Big Al is going to be a better fight than Chandler and Conor McGregor. I mean, that's that's kind of how I feel. I think this is going to be an absolutely zinger of a fight card. And your first bet is you're actually going to the main event. Tell us your first right. bet. Yeah, man, I'm going to take Jerry, man. I think he's um, I think he's he's looking to get paid back here. Um, obviously, it's going to be a tough fight. He uh, he's going to have to look out for the knockout because that's that's definitely live. But I just think he's he's very skilled. Um, he does fight with reckless abandon, so he's going to have to be careful there. But um, he looked pretty good last fight in the first round. Um, I think if he can take this thing to the ground, out wrestle him here a little bit, um, just avoid the big strike. I think he can um, he can win this by sub. Um, he might even be able to to clip Pereira, um, and even not if that doesn't happen, I think he'll get by decision. So um, I just think it's. Um, he, he's ready. I think he's um, his his last fight. He looked pretty good, and now um, now he's gonna catch uh, Pereira coming back on a on a, a quick turnaround. So um, I like him here. And it's also important to remember when they fought last time, Yuri had that really tough shoulder injury that I think kind of really limited. He's a hundred percent now. Quick turnaround from Pereira. He was he was down south partying with his boys, and then he got this call saying, "Hey, you know what?" Yes, he, he did. Needs you. you know, and that's a quick turnaround to go. And he's been very vocal about having to lose 20 pounds to get ready for this fight. So I think this is a good spot for Yuri to be able to get him to. I'm actually on this bet as well. Good. My next one, going to the co-main event. Give me Lopez inside the distance at plus 130. Now, big thing was Ortega was very vocal about moving up to light heavyweight. They were going to fight this at the featherweight belt at level weight class, but they're going to fight at 155 now. And I think this is, I don't think it's as big a deal because this is kind of the weight Lopez walks around with. So I don't think it's going to be that big a deal that we saw last week when um, Burrito Kevin couldn't drop his weight. So I had to fight up a couple weight classes and, um, his opponent Rodriguez, he walks around slower. Lopez doesn't walk around that small. Um, when we look at it, Ortega has a history of starting slow. That last fight against Yuri, it was more of Yuri choke. Yuri was completely in charge of that fight. Ortega made that submission at the end to sneak out the win. Um, Lopez, he has the advantage on the mat in the stand-up. Ortega in his last two fights really hasn't looked that impressive to me. Lopez height and reach, reach advantage. I think Lopez is going to be able to keep this standing up, but if it does go to the ground, I think he's got better jujitsu than Ortega. Lopez is the better athlete. And I think Ortega has a lot of ring time on him. And I think we're going to see that like we saw with Tony Ferguson, just, he fell off a cliff. I think we're going to start to see that with Ortega. I'm going to take Lopez here. I You can play the knockout, but he does have 12 submission wins. By playing the in the in the distance at plus 130, juice is a little bit down. I still get plus money, and I'm covered by the knockout or the sub. I'll take Lopez in the inside the distance, plus 130. Very good. I like it, man. I'm on that play as well, so um... – I agree with everything you said. Next bet. Where are we going, my man? Yeah, a little juicy here, but I'm not going to pair this with something else just to risk it. So I'm going to play Roman Delize money line um, against Anthony Smith. I love Anthony, Anthony Smith. Um, I think he caught Vitor Petrino in his last fight. Um, 
I think he just got him at a good time. Um, I, I think the lead is going to be a little bit smarter than that. He's not going to fall into a trap of a submission here. Um, he's a really good grappler. Um, I guess he's, uh, I, I was reading that he's, he's, he's a world champion. So, um, his skills on the ground, I, I believe are, are good enough to, uh, defend what Smith can do on the ground. Um, he averages 1.3 takedowns for a fight. So obviously I, I think he's going to go there, but he will strike as well. Um, and I think over the course of the fight, he's going to be able to get to Smith, um, get enough damage on him. And if it goes longer, I've, we've seen Smith fade before, um, later in fights, he'll get tired and gas out. So, um, I think the leads, they can even take him into deeper waters and outlast him there for, for a decision. If he can't finish him within inside the distance. So Smith's another guy that has a ton of miles on him. Yeah. And I think we're just going to see these guys just start to fall off, especially with the smaller gloves, these smaller gloves. I think that we're going to see the guys with the ring time. I think we're going to see them drop. So I absolutely love this bet. Now you may not know this about me, but when I go to Panera bread, I always see one guy enjoying a nice cup of broccoli cheddar. And if I did not, <laughs> I would be upset. I have no idea why Arlowski likes broccoli cheddar from Panera and why I always see him at Panera up here. But give me Arlowski here plus 220. Now look, his opponent is coming off a bad loss. Okay. I know he's young. I know he's hyped up. But what is Orlowski going to do? He's going to get him in the clinch. He's going to pin him against the cage. He's going to try to get this down the mat. There was a time where Orlowski would, would stand and fight with you, but that's not him now. Now he just kind of grinds himself out to a victory. And we've seen these judges. The UFC judging has a big problem in my eyes. And if it's going to be a toss up that goes to a decision, I feel you need to take the bigger dog because all it takes is one judge to kind of see it a little wanky and you're in a good position. Arlowski, in my eyes, is quicker. His boxing, he's going to be able to take range if there's a stand-up. But if it's not and you're in the clinch and he's doing those punches and his opponent can't do anything, what – you know what I mean? Like, visual-wise, that's going to give him the decision. I think Arlowski, better in the clinch – better stand up and he's a quicker boxer even at 45 i'll take orlowski here plus 220 all day i like it man take some big stones but i like it hey buddy hey we we hit volikov last week plus 200 correct you know so hopefully yeah, anything can happen it. man it's human beings and fighting in the cage so um I applaud you on taking this this side cuz now you know, i believe a, a lot of people are on the other side so if he wins and I see him at Panera, I may pick up that $7.58 bowl of broccoli cheddar. Next one. Where are you going, my friend? Yeah, I'm going to do a parlay. I'm probably crazy for betting on uh, Andre Feely here, but um, I'm just going to fade Cub Swanson at this point. He's 40 years old. Um, I think this is going to be his last fight, probably his retirement fight. It's um, what I've been hearing. So um, Feely is coming off a quick turnaround off a knockout, so that's always, you know, something you might want to stay away from, but I just think he wants to get back in there and get back in the winner circle. And I think this is a perfect matchup for him to do that. Um, he's the younger, the faster um, fighter here. Um, you know, he, he does take some damage. Cubs smart. Cubs had cub has good defense. Um, but I think Feely's going to be able to get him on the ground at some point in time. I'm not sure how many takedowns he's going to get in, in this because cub cup can have some pretty good defense as well. Sometimes. Um, but I, I think Feely's going to get him at least on the ground twice in this fight um, and do enough over the course of that fight to uh, to get a win. I don't know. I've heard some calling for a knockout. I don't know if he's going to be able to knock Swanson out or not, but I think he'll just be able to do enough damage um, to get the win. And um, he, he's pretty juiced, so I used um, the, the Gary versus um, Page over one and a half rounds. Um, it's an alt line. I found this on MGM. Or actually, was this MGM? No, this was a uh, bet 365. You can get this on like bet 365 and DK where you can do the alt rounds. Um, I believe that uh, Paige and Gary are going to feel each other out. Um, Gary's really has, has an excellent um, kicking game, and I believe he's going to use that to his advantage to, uh, to keep Paige at distance. 
um, so that Paige can't get with, within that distance of, of striking and, um, and and get a big one on him because I, I believe that Paige could catch Gary if he gets the right angle on him. So um, Gary's smart enough, and I believe they're going to feel each other out enough in this fight to uh, take the silver one and a half, and um, I give that gives us a good enough uh, odds for a two leg in my opinion. So I like it. I like it. My next one. I'm going to a female fight, but it's not the female fight on the undercard. It's the main card. Give me Bruno. Bruno. Jesus. Bruno Silva by submission at plus 310. Both fighters are good on the ground. Marcy is at a huge disadvantage in the stand-up game. So I think with that being said, she is going to look to get this to the ground. My issue with her is she's very sloppy in the transitions. This is going to open stuff up for Silva to sneak in that sub. Look, I know she lost to Pennington last fight. But before that, she beat Holly Holm via a choke. That decision was obviously reversed because Silva tested positive for some stuff she can't be taking. Then she beat Lazenberger by knee bar, and she had an arm bar, a, an arm bar against Edgar before that. She is capable, and she's showing us that in these fights, she's very crafty on the ground and can sneak out these submissions. I think, like I said, Macy's going to put her on the ground because she doesn't want to keep it standing up. She's going to get lost in a transition. This is going to lead to Bruno Silva to be able to get a submission. I'm getting this at plus 310. Look, too juicy to pass up. I'll take that all day, my friend. I like it. Yeah, I like her side as well on this. So um, we're agreeing. We are agreeing a lot on this one. So that probably means we're going to go 0 and 6, which is always good. Um, we'll see. You guys asked us to go ahead. I'm sorry, my friend. Let's say we'll see. You guys asked us to put together a DraftKings lineup, so we're going to be bringing up Wade's DraftKings lineup to start. Wade, talk us through your DraftKings lineup, my friend. Yeah, I basically just um, went ahead and took everybody that I'm backing this this weekend, whether it's in a parlay on some sort that I've given out to my members or um, in some form or fashion. I'm, I'm on all these guys, so um, it actually equaled out to a perfect balance. I have zero left on my DraftKings account. This um, this total of fifty thousand. Um, you know, I'm that's starting at the bottom. I'm on Roman Delize, um, Diego Lopez. I'm also on. I'm also I'm, I'm on Yuri. Obviously, we just talked about. Um, I I took Gene Silva was the very last pick. I was stuck with uh, seventy nine hundred dollars left, and I had to pick between five or six people and. Um, I mean, honestly, Charles Jordan's probably one of my favorite UFC fighters of all time. I've really liked watching him. I fell in love with him for some reason. Um, I'm not sure he's going to get the win, though. Um, so I, I think I'll take Silva in that matchup, at least if not to, to give us a good fight, and I think he'll be able to score enough points in that fight. i um, going to go with Andre Feely and um, Joe Pfeiffer. I think both Feely and Pfeiffer may be live for knockouts in their fights. So um, I like this. I like this uh, this card here. I like it. I like it. Let's bring up mine here. Um, obviously, the strategy that I did for mine is I am looking for people that I think are going to win inside the distance. And yeah. a little budget guy I want. Obviously, went with Mr. Broccoli Cheddar himself, Andre Orlowski. I think he's going to be very under-owned. I think he's going to get a lot of significant strikes. So I got... 7,100. Love it. As I mentioned, I think both these females, um, Bruno Silva and Robertson are going to win via submission just because especially Robertson, dude, I mean, she's not a look, dude, there was a time when we've talked to, like you and I, for those who don't know, Wade and I, I was in Indy. We met up, we watched, um, game three of the college world series, game seven of the NHL playoff Stanley cup. 35 minutes of our talk was of Michelle Watterson and the transformation she's gone from, from the Korean hottie to a mom. You know, we, you and I talked a great distance about that. She's a great fighter, but she's going against Robertson, who I think is going to be able to get this to the ground, take advantage of the issues that she has defending it. Watterson's tapped out her last couple of fights. I'll tell you, I think Robertson is going to win this via sub. Same thing with Bruno Silva, as I said. Um, Swanson, I think his chin is gone. I think this is an early knockout for your boy, Feely. 
Lopez already went over, and then Yuri. I think Yuri is going to be able to win this in this side of the distance too. And I'll be honest, pretty much all these guys, except for Dealey, I bet on. And I think they're going to win inside, so that's where you want to get these points. So that's kind of my lineup right there. Um, and then you guys asked for a prize picks. Now – we we did a lot for you people this week, so hopefully you guys, hopefully you guys understand that we're here for you. So if there's anything you guys want, uh, you guys want to use parlay play, you know, whatever, we will put it together for you. We just basically did a nice little three teamer here. Uh, we took the free square with Alex Perea over half a significant strikes. Both of us think Feely's going to be able to light up um Swanson we took him over 55 and a half strikes and both of us like Lopez against Ortega we think he's going to be able to keep this standing um with Ortega and this 43 seems very low to me yep so there you go our three teamer is Perea over half significant strikes Feely over 55 and a half significant strikes Lopez over 43 and a half significant strikes Wade, looking at the fight card, two more questions, and I'm going to let you go. Question number one, what is the fight you are looking forward to the most? Um, Probably the uh, – there's really two of them that I'm really looking forward to, but probably the most, probably Lopez, and uh, I don't know why I'm drawing a blank right now. Lopez and Ortega. Lopez and Ortega. Yeah, I, I think I think Ortega has a good chance to catch him here. So um, we'll okay. see. It's a big setup and competition, and it's kind of like the uh, last weekend's fight. Where, um, but that was a whole different circumstances with uh, yeah, with, with the him traveling across the country and um, not being ready for that. So and fight you are looking forward to the least. Um. See, that's always a good question in my eyes because no one really says, oh, the fight I really don't want to see is. I want to see the Arlovsky one. I just don't care oh, about either. Yeah. I, I know, yeah. I know, I know. I, I, was, I, was, I was looking down at my sheet like, man, is there anything else I can really say? But, like, I just don't care about either one of those fighters. I am on the other side. I did I did parlay up Boudet, but it, I just – I don't care about either fighter, honestly. I, I don't know. I don't know. Well, it's either that one or the first one, Ricky Simon, because I'm just kind of over him at this point. But I, I don't know. <laughs> I'm looking forward to the main event. Um, yeah, you know, sure. Perea, Yuri. I think that's going to be a great fight. Sure. And we're if Perea wins this, I'm hearing there's a big possibility he could move up to heavyweight and look to go after John Bones Jones. I agree. So um, really interesting, and he's crazy how he's nine and two and people are talking how he could be the first three, three class champion Um fight. I am least looking forward to. Um, I can't pronounce these guys' names. Um, Talbot and whoever he's fighting. Really? Yeah. I just, why? Peyton what, Talbot. Why? Yeah. Why, why would he's minus 1700. You know what I mean? It's it's not going to be anything special. Those are the ones that um, maybe the uh, big parlay cat crashers. If anybody was, you know, if anybody used him in any of their picks, so it's always kind of fun to see what the biggest the biggest favorite can uh, trip he's up. Gonna, I guess. But I mean, the thing is, and neither one of us used him in our draft kings. He's going to be the highest on draft kings. Giannis Gamori is the guy he's facing, by the way. He's going to be the highest on DraftKings, and that's why I pivoted away from him. Like, I don't – how I do DraftKings and, like, this – Yeah, you can't – yeah, no, you can't take him. That's that's not the right way. You're you're doing it the right way. This could be a whole hour conversation. DraftKings, FanDuel, they make money off of people playing, like, the big million-dollar maker contest. If you're serious about winning money in DraftKings and FanDuel – it's a slow game, kind of like betting. You do the single entry, 50-50 contest. You enter four of those, and you just grind it out. And that's what you do. And that's how I make my money during the NFL season and why I do it during the NBA. I grind it out with the 50-50s because I know when in the million-dollar maker, with how they do that stuff there, 
if you guys knew the shady stuff DraftKings and FanDuel did, you guys would not play there. But I'm going to say this information to myself. Wade, I'd like to thank you for taking time out of your day talking a little UFC 303. Why don't you tell everyone where they can find you on social media, my friend? Yeah, just check me out on um, X, uh, Twitter. I guess if you still, people still call it Twitter. I'm not sure if they do anymore. Uh, TikTok, Instagram, um, it's all still at Wade's Bets. Um, yeah, there's a link in my bio for a seven free day trial um, to my premium membership. That's $15 a month right now through the end of the month. So um, come join me because uh, after the uh, end of the month, is uh, my prices are going to go back up to where they were. And um, everybody that signs up before July 1st is grandfathered in forever. So um, great deal. Little, little promo great. I'm doing. So great deal. You've been doing great in baseball and doing great in UFC. And- you know, football's right around the corner. So, guys and girls, make sure you take advantage of that. Wade is going to have a week off for the 4th of July. There is no fight card next week. So, we'll see yeah, Wade back here in two weeks for the – Oh, my girl Rose and my girl Tracy are in the main event. Whew. Oh. You know what? You and I have been talking about possibly live streaming a fight card. Maybe that's the fight card we have to live stream right there. Yeah, that, that, that card's got some interesting fights on it. I've, I always look ahead a little bit, so I know what's going on in that card. Um, looking maybe, forward to it. Maybe that's the we we've been talking about it. I'll do a poll on um, on X and everything if we should uh, live stream what you guys decide. Make sure to give my boy Wade a foul. Good luck in your bets, Wade, and let's make some money, boys and girls. Appreciate you. Mm-hmm.